Hey, what's up, internet? So Banggood.com hooked us up again with not only do we have this, I don't even exactly sure how many pieces this is, but it's like a good 100 LEDs, and they come in uh, five different colors and two different shapes. Most LEDs you're going to be using for the Raspberry Pi are going to require the smaller ones, which are 2.8 millimeters. Uh, the bigger ones are like 5.8 or a little over 5. So uh, most of the ones that are going to go on these cases, you're going to be using the smaller ones. So as you can see here, we got small and large. So you have a small one and a large one. And then you have it for every single color here. And there you see a bunch of different colors. Clear, yellow, green, blue, red. Uh, the majority of cases are going to take the smaller version, as you can see here, like this Commodore 64 case coming in on the bottom there. The small one fits right in. As you can see, this smaller LED fits right in the hole there. Um, so we're going to work with that. With the LEDs, they are polarized, the longer uh, pin being the positive. And as far as whether you want to use resistors or not, that's up to you. I've heard many people, as long as you use a 3.3 volt on there, it should be fine. You might burn out the bulb or something like that, but I've heard of builds going for over years like that. If you want some resistors, just get like a 270 or 300 ohm resistor. That's plenty good. Banggood also hooked it up with the actual GPIO connectors. So not only do I have 120 mail to mail, which I'm not going to be using in this video, but they could come in handy on like a Pi Zero or something like that. That requires more of a male GPIO. Uh, we have female to male, so this could come in handy as well in case I need to go from a female build to a male component. And then the ones we're going to be using for this one are the female to female. So we got a whole strand of these. Red and black being the most important ones, right? Because it's easier to differentiate, but you can go with maroon or blue or another color is positive. And then use some of your more whites and grays and blacks for, ne for negatives. It's totally up to you which one you want to go for. All right, so once you boot up your system, go ahead and go into RetroPie. Then you go into Raspi Config in the RetroPie menu. So just take a second to get over here. And then you're going to go over to interfacing options number five. And then uh, go ahead and uh, move your D-pad over to the right, which will bring you over to select and go ahead and click in. Once you're in there, go down to P6 serial, enable or disable. You want this enabled. So again, go to P6, hit the right on the D-pad. Go ahead and click in. Would you like to log in? Yes. Serial enabled, great. And at this point, you're going to shut down because we're going to go ahead and hook up our LED. So it doesn't matter whether you, sh you don't want to reboot, you want to go ahead and get out of here and then hit start, quit, shut down system. And then we're going to go back to our Pi. Once you have your script set up, the next thing to do is just shorten these, uh, these pins a little bit. You definitely want to keep, you don't need them that long. And uh, remember to keep one longer than the other just so you know which one is positive, which one is negative. And uh, what I'm going to do here is get a red and a, and a white and a black, because that's easy to do, right? So if I put my red on the longer one, okay, got that in, and then I put my black on the negative, very easy. The next thing you're gonna do is just hot glue it into place. So get this and then we'll glue that in. And then once that's glued in, the pins it's actually going to go on, I've printed this out for you. If you have a fan, okay, I printed this out. If you have a fan, you're going to go and pin two, four, and six. So four and six are typically going to be used for a fan. So then for your serials, you're going to you can either uh, put two into the ground here. You need to go to one of the grounds. I recommend this one over there in the far corner, and then you need to go here for serial pin number eight. So if the, if we were to wire this this particular LED here. We're gonna go on the negative, we can go on the last pin in the corner there. It's the negative pin there. As you can see, it's on the second row back on the corner. And then our positive row is gonna go full, from the front side here, one, two, three, four. So, right here. Okay. And now, now our LED is properly wired for this particular case. It's that simple. I am going to put a couple dabs of hot glue on here to keep it into place. Another thing you might be interested in seeing is my the other uh, case from the Collective Craft as well, which is this, you know, um, Super Nintendo style case. 
and you can see that I did another LED. In this setup, I'm using um, the same ground. I just have the ground, the fan and the LED are sharing the same ground. And then I have the LED that I put in the serial. I've also run this to the 3.3 volt pin as well, which is this pin right here, to the number one pin there. Um, that works as well. Um, I think what happens though, if you plug it into that one and you turn off your Pi, if your Pi is still plugged in, it will still stay lit. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to do a custom LED install and show the LED working in the second version of this video. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.